message is born again. Are you born again? Jesus is a religious man. In order to enter eternal life, he must be born again. In John chapter 3, verse 3, Jesus answered him, Truly, truly, I say to you, unless one born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. The kingdom said to him, How can a man be born when he's old? Can he enter the second time into his father's womb and be born? And Jesus answered, Truly, truly, I say to you, Unless one be born of water and spirit, he cannot enter into the kingdom of God. Number one point is this. Nicodemus is like many of us today. He's searching for what it means to be born again. And Jesus said to him, Truly, truly means, this is it, this is it. Pay attention, pay attention, I said to you. Unless one be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. What Nicodemus needs to know, in certain things, we not get to eternal life. Religion will not get one to heaven. Going to church, church attendance will not get you to heaven. But what will get you to heaven is to be born again. That will get you there. Number two point, Jesus the Nicodemus, in honor of all things, is one must be born again. Otherwise, he cannot enter into his kingdom. Unless you born again, you cannot see the of God, my dear friend. The scripture identifies our condition. In Romans chapter 3, verse 23, the Bible says, For all have sinned and cause of the glory of God. That's what sin is, coming short of the glory of God. Exodus chapter 7, verse 20 says, Surely there is no righteous man on earth who does good and never sins. In other words, we are just a bunch of sinners. None of us can say we have not seen before. As I said clearly in Isaiah 64, verse 6, we all become like one who is unclean, and all righteous things are like a coming protect, and we further away like a lake, and if it is like a wind that takes us away. Our sin has separated us from the living God. In Romans chapter 3, verse 10 says, as it is written, there is no righteous, no, not even one. So all people need to be born again in order for us to enter into the kingdom of God. Number three point, Jesus explained to the Nicodemus that the evidence of being born again, such as in John chapter 3 verse 8, the wind blows where he wishes, you can hear his sound, but you do not know where he comes from or where he goes. So it is with everyone who is being born of the Spirit. What evidence of being born again is to love the enemy. That's what you try to explain. You are like a spirit like the wind that blows it. It goes here, it goes there. But you don't know where it's coming from. And you don't know where it's going. It's to love your enemy. Another one, the evidence of being born again is one who overlooks or trusts in God like Joshua and Cleb. When they bring the good report, you have faith in God. Number four point, Jesus explained what it means to be born again reverse in one man. We open again because one man was lifted up. In John chapter 3, verse 14 to 15, Jesus explained to the Godimus, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up, that whosoever believes in him may have eternal life. When you believe in Jesus Christ, as he was lifted up, he gives eternal life. We are born again because one man so loved the world. Jesus Christ told Nicodemus in John chapter 3, verse 16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him should not be rich but have everlasting life. When you come to Jesus, he gives you everlasting life. We are born again because one man was sent to save. In John chapter 3, verse 17. Jesus Christ said, For God did not send his son to the world to condemn the world, but now the world might be saved through him. It's only through one man, Jesus Christ, that we can be saved. He didn't come to condemn you, but he said when you believe in him, through him, that you may have eternal life. Number five point in conclusion, how can we get to heaven? It's because of one man, and that man is Jesus Christ. We must receive one man for salvation. 
the just what like he said in John chapter 1 verse 12 but to all who believe in him who receive him and believe in his name get on the right to become the son of God so you must believe in Jesus in order for you to become a child of God the Bible says in one man we must believe in in Romans chapter 10 verse 9 if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord believe in your heart that God is up from death the Bible says you shall be saved so it's all come down to one man believe one man the man Christ Jesus the Bible says you shall be saved we must open our heart to one man Jesus Christ speaking here in Revelation chapter 3 verse 20 to 22 behold I stand at the door and knock if anyone hear my voice and open the door I will come into him and eat with him and he with me one who conquers I will guarantee to sit with me on my throne and so also conquer and to sit with my father on the throne Jesus Christ conquered that right now he's on every throne will you conquer that also that is if you believe in Jesus you can also spend eternity with him in verse 22 he says he will yes who has ear let him hear what the spirit said to the churches you have ears my dear friend the reason why God give you the ears is for you to hear the word of God the Bible says take up by hearing and hearing the word of Christ in conclusion one man paid us in death for us over 2,000 years ago on the cross one man shed his blood that we can make it to his kingdom it is only through sharing the blood of Jesus Christ that will receive forgiveness of sins and will receive eternal life that's what the Bible says in Acts of Apostles chapter 16 verse 31 believe in the Lord Jesus Christ and you shall be saved and you and your household will you believe in Jesus he guarantee you eternal life so please invite Jesus Christ into your life today and he guarantee eternal life the man place in the mighty name of Jesus Jesus Christ is Lord hallelujah